Google has recently announced Google Workspaces to support the global movement of individuals and teams now predominantly working from home. Hey guys, welcome back to another video guide and if you're following us for the first time, then my name's Stuart and I just want to say thank you for joining us today. Now in this Google Workspace overview, I'm going to explain exactly what Google Workspace is and guide you through the important features Google Workspace has to offer. Essentially, Google Workspace is a rebranded evolution of G Suite. Google has done this because of the improvements of integrations between their tools, and therefore Google Workspace is a better representation than G Suite. Now, it's not just the name that's changed. You'll notice that many of Google's products have different logos and color schemes to represent this seamless integration of their tools. Right now, a heavy focus for Google is on simplicity and ease of use around team collaboration and communication. However, it is still very early days for Google Workspace, and I'm sure Google will roll out many more features over the coming months. Now, just quickly guys, before we dive into Google Workspace, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online. And with that out of the way, let's walk through Google Workspace. <music> All right, now before we cover Google Workspace, I just want to share with you a complete tutorial up above that will guide you through getting started with G Suite. Again, this is the same process as with Google Workspace, but because this is an older video, I refer to Google Workspace as it is formerly known as G Suite. Okay guys, so jumping into it, the first thing we want to do is head over to workspace.google.com. Here you will arrive at Google Workspace webpage. And as you can see, G Suite has completely transformed into Google Workspace. If we navigate over to what's included, you can see that all the applications that are offered are the same as what you would expect and what you would get with G Suite. The only difference here is that Gmail, Google Meet, Google Chat, Google Calendar, and Google Drive have Google's primary colors associated with the recent rebranding. And then if we navigate over to pricing here, what we can see again is the pricing is the same as of the 5th of November 2020 between Google Workspace and G Suite. Okay, so now diving deeper into some of the changes with Google Workspace. Firstly are the changes within Google Drive. So the easiest way to get to your apps, your Google Apps, is from your Gmail inbox. Just navigate over to Google Apps and come down to Google Drive. And within Google Drive, the first new feature you will notice is the Priority tab on the left-hand side. This is where you can make your priority section your Drive homepage by clicking OK. Then below this, you will see the option to create your personal workspace. This is a new feature where you can better manage your projects. Simply click Create Workspace, then name your workspace, and then simply add your recent files to this particular workspace. Then once you have added all your relevant files to this workspace, come down and click done. And here what you will see on your dashboard is your new workspace that you've just created out of convenience. And you can manage all your different workplaces in this interface. Now this is part of Google's move to a more simple, manageable and easy to use and collaboration focused platform. And next to this Google Workspace focuses on communication. For enhanced communication Google has improved the Google Chat application. If we navigate over to apps again and head down to chat this gives us the ability to firstly chat with individuals we are connected with on Google Workspace and we have the options to send emojis, uploads, files from our drive or simply start a video call. Now two new Google Workspace features include rooms and bots. Rooms are essentially team collaboration and communication groups for teams. So I could go ahead and create a room add two individuals that are part of my developing team and click create. 
And then you'll notice that we have the same communication options below to interact, collaborate and engage on with our team. And then finally, Google has launched bots and this essentially allows you to simply integrate your favorite apps right into your chat rooms. This further enhances your communication between your teams. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Google will most likely introduce more and more features to Google Workspace over the next coming months. Basically, Google Workspace is designed to be an all-in-one place for productivity, communication and collaboration tools for business. There we have it guys, that is it for this video guide on Google Workspace. Now if you have any questions about this video, make sure to leave them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.